All right. <laughs> We're back. We're almost done, you guys. I don't know what happened. I hope that uh, our reception has fixed itself. We're gonna just try to wrap it up real quick. Let me let you know what I've got planned, okay? So y'all know that we've painted in kernel mustard. We've got the entire yellow. We did some wet distressing. I have my heat gun out and I'm gonna dry this center really well. It is raining outside, so um, uh, the paint's not drying quite as quickly as it normally does. I do have planned, I do wanna show you this. Um, this, is the inside of, Matt, could you help me please? With the Rebel Yellow, and this is Colonel Mustard. So can they see these really well? These are the two colors that I would like to stripe, not the whole bed, just in that center. Would you say, say, hi, uh, say hi guys if you got back on? Um, we lost a bunch of people. We had a, we had a bunch of people and we lost about half of you with um, frozen internet, I am so sorry. Um, but anyway, I'm Tracy of Tracy's Fancy, and we are here back on the Dixie Bell page, finishing up this bed real quick. I will be back in two weeks on Saturday night, same time, and we're gonna move forward with this bed and um, get the design transfer on there and then make some finishing decisions with you guys. So um, these are the colors that I think I would like to stripe just right here in the center section, okay? So that's the plan. Um, let me, how many do we have back on, babe? Okay, well, I'm so glad that some of you guys are back. I'm gonna dry this a little bit. Let me talk to you about when I stripe. When you do stripe, um, and you know that we just painted this piece, I don't hesitate to tape. A lot of people like to wait like 24 hours before they do any taping, and I don't have time for that, and I don't have the patience for that. So I just go ahead and uh, dry my piece. Now, if I have time, it's really smart and wise to put a coat of sealer on there and then tape, then you won't have any issues at all. But what I do here is I get this nice and dry and then I have a little trick. Um, Matt, if you'll put the camera on there and then maybe you could just step in and hold this on here while I show him my tape trick. I'm gonna put Matt on uh, the dryer, just move that around. What I do when I tape, when, I'm, when I know that I haven't probably let it dry quite long enough, I use, I use the blue tape or the green tape, it doesn't matter. And um, this is matte, by the way. <laughs> um, it's super, super sticky right when you pull it off the roll. So what I do is I do this. I put it like that on my shirt, on my jeans, wherever. I just stick it on and I pull it back off. And what that does is that puts a little bit of lint from your apron or your pants or your shirt. It puts a little bit of lint on here and it takes that first coat of super intense tackiness off. That way when you paint or when you tape it, um, it still does the job with your paint, but it, when you pull it off, it doesn't pull your freshly painted paint off. So try that, okay? Um, at the Dixie Bell workshop, we, uh, I taught how to paint stripes and how to paint checkerboard, and I had everybody do that. Um, because we painted our paints, our plates fresh, and then we stuck it on our clothes and pulled it off, and we worked on stripes. So that is a tip that I want you to know. So I think that's probably all we're going to do tonight, you guys. Um, I hope that you enjoyed it, and I'm so sorry that we lost internet connection. Um, we, we were on such a roll. We were on such a roll. Um, so thank you so much. I will be sure to look at both this video and the first video uh, to choose my winner, and I will reach out to you in your Facebook Messenger box and let you know that you've won, and then I'll give you instructions what to do from there. And um, don't forget to make sure that you're following the Dixie Bell page, and make sure that you go over, I would love it if you would go over to Tracy's Fancy and follow me there. And I have all sorts of classes going on right now. Um, like I said, I've got the giveaway going on with the mermaid chair, if you'll go follow me over on Instagram. Uh, tomorrow's my birthday. I have a Christmas, t a Christmas tree class that we're using Dixie Bell products to paint ornaments and do all sorts of fun things to build a tree starting in two weeks until November. It's an eight month long class. We meet once a month um, and just get things ready to put, I know Christmas tree, I know that sounds crazy, but every year at the last second, I wish I had a prettier tree and I don't. So I made the commitment this year live on Facebook. I'm gonna open a little private group and anyone that wants to join me, even if I'm alone, I'm gonna be there working on 
making the commitment to work on things to make a beautiful tree using my Dixie Belle products. So, um, but I'm not gonna be alone because I already have a lot of people in, in the group ready and waiting to start. So I'd love to have you there too. So anyway, that's it you guys. If you have any questions, always feel free to message me on Facebook. I answer every single question that I get and I appreciate you so much for being here tonight. And I never have used this color and I absolutely love it. So yes, Matt. One more, one more time, let's show you the transfer because that's right when we lost you guys. This is the transfer, it says Free Spirit. It's called Passion Flower. This is only one portion of it. It actually comes in two sheets. This is one portion, looks just like this. It's in two pieces and it looks like it has a white background, but it doesn't, you guys. It has a clear background. So you'll be able to see the yellow through the transfer. And I'll show you again, the white peels off and it will, you'll be able to see the yellow through the transfer, just like that. And I'm actually gonna stripe this, this center section. So when this presses up against there, you're actually gonna see tone on tone, yellow on yellow stripes only in the center section. It's, it's not necessary to do that. This is really what's gonna give it the punch, but I love detail. I love going, taking that extra step and going the extra mile to make something just a little bit more special. And um, I think putting some stripes subtly in the background uh, will really add to the final look of this. And then from there, I'm not real sure where we'll go. Next week, we'll, uh, in two weeks when we meet back here again, um, we'll definitely be uh, more of a detail live we will be talking more about like design and and detail and um i know that that's something that a lot of people struggle with so maybe there's something that you can learn if you'll join us in two weeks if you're following me on tracy's fancy i will always promote when i'm going to be here so um thank you dixie bell for your wonderful products and thank you for uh supporting my business too and letting me go live here on your page and hang out with your people i appreciate you guys so much y'all have a good weekend Bye bye